Hello, hello, hello. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis, and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. The Brand Design Channel, we cover various topics about branding, making money online, and things of that nature. This video is going to be about playing digital monopoly. Hello, welcome to my channel, the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is number one, is going to cover number one, what is digital monopoly? Number two, why it is important to a brand and your personal brand. Number three will be what are the benefits of digital monopolies? And number four, services that I can provide you to help you build what I'm about to explain. For those that don't know, there was a board game called Monopoly. We played it as kids. Everybody started off with a certain amount of money and you rolled the dice and you moved around the board and wherever you landed, you have the opportunity to purchase the property. Now, you could purchase it or you could pass on it. And each side of the board, the properties got better and more expensive. Once you purchased them, as the game went on, you developed them. You may have put houses on it, apartment buildings, things of that nature. But every time you increase the value of that particular property, anyone that landed on it had to pay you more money. But there were traps in it too. Like you could hit something and end up going to jail. Don't pass gold. Don't collect $200. Pay a fine. There were a lot of things on that board game that mimic the internet. Digital monopoly, digital assets, digital property. The digital property that you have the opportunity to own, build and grow would be your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your LinkedIn page, Twitter, those are all free digital properties that you can own, stake out, build, and grow in value. For example, on LinkedIn, if you're a professional and you're just starting out or, or at any time, you should build your LinkedIn profile based on your personal brand. I, I, I'm on LinkedIn and too many times I see people whose profile up there is not maintained or upkept. The banner is empty. The picture is lousy. They're just posting their degree, but they're not optimizing it because you're going to need it in the future. We're talking about a digital property now. It's free. It's free. And things such as Instagram. Instagram is now dating gram. When people want to interact with you to see if you're worth dating or stuff like that, they ask for your Instagram page to see what you're about. Without one, you're like a digital ghost. The other page is Facebook. We have warned people that what you post on your Facebook page can cause you harm in the dating and workforce market. Do not be alarmed. Do not be confused. They do look at them. They do. That is why one of the people that 
I've interviewed on the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. She's a career coach, and she teaches people how to construct their resume so that it'll pass through those computerized systems to get you in front of the hiring manager. However, they do look at your online presence, your digital properties. It is real important to businesses that they hire people that won't embarrass them. You have to show that you are participating in the digital creator economy. It is not optional. It is not. But just to highlight the value of this, there was Warner Music purchased an Instagram theme page, not a profile page, a theme page for $84 million from a teenager. He had created the theme page based on one of his hobbies, means, and it collected an audience that Warner Music wanted to market to. Now do you see the real value of this? Gathering an audience who's coming to your social profiles. Businesses want to market to them, want to sell to them. So the more you work on your digital properties and make them of value, eventually they will be purchasable. To give you another example, you may have heard about SEO, Search Engine Optimization. Now they sell these services to businesses, but I happen to know that the people that are really into SEO, how they make their money is they take abandoned websites and domains that are in popular niches, they purchase them, they rebuild them and make them of value, and then they resell them for a profit. That's how they really do that. And they have a really close-knit group. They're actually in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and not just anybody can get in there because that network of people, they work amongst each other, and you have to do some work to show that you're worthy to even be a part of that network. So that is what I wanted to share about you about digital monopoly, building your digital properties. It's free. It's free just like the gold rush in America when they found gold out in California. Everybody rushed to put their name on some land. The same thing when America was developed and they gave away land to frontiersmen and people that went out and developed it. That's the same thing, and it's free. It's free. A YouTube channel, it's free. All you have to do is put in a little effort instead of watching social media, create social media. And it's real simple and easy to do. If you're interested in learning how to do this, I have a mastermind group. I also have a webinar coming up. I hold it periodically on a monthly basis, how to start a YouTube channel. Because think about it, a YouTube channel is Google property, and it's in their best interest to publish you to the public and find people that are interested in your content, no matter what it is. There, there are ways to, to research this, and find out what you're what what you're good at, what your audience would like to see. And you'd be surprised at some of the things that people put out there and they get a lot of followers. Google pays for it. There are other ways to make money for it with sponsorships, user generated content. Um, for example, the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. I analyze software because I've been in digital marketing and IT for over 40 years. So I have the experience and I use these tools that I learned what works 
so that I can recognize them to my clients. Hopefully this has been of value to you. Click like, click share. My name is Charles the Marketing Matt Davis. You can go up and follow me on LinkedIn and my business, Serio Design Effects. We're a digital marketing as a service company. Thank you for watching.